Hello and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. Today we're going to talk about the pitfalls of top-down financial modeling approach for early stage startups. So what is this approach? Let's first discuss that, I guess, before we're going to talk about why this approach isn't good. The top-down approach is when you make assumptions based on big picture. Specifically for early stage startups, what's most important are your revenue assumptions, right? Because it's your revenues that are really uh, reflecting your business plan. And in the case of a top-down approach, they are made based on big picture factors, such as market share that you think you're going to capture of the overall market or the growth rate, whether it applies to the number of users or the number of clients, et cetera. Now, what is wrong with this? Because this approach, of course, sounds perfectly fine, right? And you may think that this is how big companies do it. Why doesn't it work for small companies? Okay. Well, it doesn't work for small companies because you don't have any data. And so if you do it this way, you will create um, results that are not really based on what you can do. So specifically, you're going to have revenue goals that are disjointed from your strategy because they're based on big picture factors and not your strategy. And you're going to have uh, revenue goals which also do not consider things that you are subject to as a company, such as capital constraints, labor constraints, regulatory constraints, and product development timeline, right? And if you do it this way, Okay, what's going to happen is you're going to have financial results that are also disjointed from the company's strategic activities. And on top of that, you're going to have a financial model that you can't really use to track whether or not your strategy is working, right? That you can't really use to respond to market feedback in a timely manner. So in this case, the financial model isn't your business intelligence tool that helps you run your business better, that gets everybody on the same page, that accelerates your fundraising process that you can use as a communication tool with your stakeholders. If you just have it as a reporting tool and you compare the results of what you thought you're gonna get with uh, what actually happened and you don't know why and you don't know what to do, right? And so as a result, your uh, financial plan will be not robust because you don't know from this financial plan if your revenue goals are feasible and if you have enough capital to achieve them the way that you build those goals based on big picture things okay it's not related to your actual situation and from the investor's perspective right these financials are not credible they look great but can you really do it and so what they actually do is they adversely affect your own credibility and with these financials, you can't really defend your valuation. And this weakens your negotiating position with investors. So the moral of the story is this approach can be used for later stage companies, but please don't use this approach for early stage. And in fact, watch our video for bottom up approach, which is, which is what I suggest you do use for early stage startups. And here you go. Please like the video below, share it with your friends and colleagues, and sign up to our YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you want to learn how to model your venture in a credible way, please sign up for our masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. Thank you, and I will see you next week.